All righty. Hello and welcome everybody to this match voiceover that I'm recording on my phone. I thought, you know, let's try for a good one, a good one on my lunch break here. I might be able to finish it. We'll see. But uh, yeah, that first hand, terrible. Mulligans once, literally perfect. It, I mean, it couldn't get better than that. Thought sees doesn't really matter at this point. I've got a sunken. I've got a castle in the forest. There's nothing they can do because thought sees of course can't get rid of the land so it's uh resilient to that losing one oh okay i mean i was uh, i was so happy i was recording just drawing into the second sunk and that means on turn four i'm going to be able to make seven i can play that trinix rex potentially something like that i was a little bit worried it was going to be rakdos vampires but seeing that it's rakdos sacrifice not a problem whatsoever most of the big creatures have trample. A ton of the creatures do, so I don't have to worry about chump blocks and maybe some other variations might with the pugnacious hammer skull, that sort of thing. That would be chump blocked into oblivion and potentially stolen with claim the firstborn. Or furnace rains, but that furnace rains would steal anything. It doesn't have a requirement. It might as well set up. It's not the most aggressive deck in the world. We'll be going with that Jade Light Splunker next turn, next turn. I thought, oh, maybe I could, but I might as well use the Sylvan Scrying. Turn it into a land, just in case the opponent would maybe thought sees Sylvan Scrying away. Now that Sylvan Scrying has become a Cavern of Souls, it's safe, it's safe. One less thing, although maybe they're scared of Cultist Stampede Tyrant, or they just don't understand what could potentially have oh, <laughs> the other galta lovely i must say i have been thinking of um increasing galta primal hunger maybe up to two copies because it does continue to be quite impactful i don't really need to see it all that often but maybe maybe just a touch more than one copy there simply digging with uh yeah that big splunker certainly lovely to see the carnage tyrant and we got a decent sized Splunker, even though I paid quite a bit for X, it still has a mana value of 1, and I was figuring Fatal Push would take it out. I hadn't played any creatures yet, so the Fatal Push that was sitting in their hand, ooh, painful. It certainly looks painful, but when you can do what I'm about to do, you buy yourself enough time, that's for sure. They're, they're not busting through that. I wasn't exactly sure if I could get it done the following turn it is enough trample but you never know who they're going to play who they might copy with that fable blood tithe harvester not a problem not a problem they're certainly not attacking into those three big massive creatures but strap yourselves in it's gonna it's gonna get good you're about to see absolute devastation in the face of anything anyone can do not just rectos sacrifice i'm about to make a ton of power oh oh boy Oh, but, oh, Mayhem Devil. Of course, that is a little bit scary. They've done some stuff to... Oh, there we go. And there it is. That's how you do it. Doubling all those creatures for immediate death. <sighs> scary stuff, but... Straight up, switch out the Splunker, which dies pretty easily for that Culling Ritual. Culling Ritual, specifically against rakdos sacrifice would decimate the main things that the deck does the treasure tokens blood tithe harvester the cat the oven the goblin all of it all of it so it really brings them pain if they get an oven and the cat online pretty quick i mean that can be quite scary but hitting the culling ritual possibly i could see in a lot of cases i could be making six seven and even eight facing off against this deck Oh, oh my goodness, they must be feeling pretty scared, pretty bad, knowing that there are so many massive, massive creatures that got to be pretty much on point. But I felt quite fantastic, recovering quite nicely after mulliganing once in the first game. And that hand, of course, very, very reasonable. Thought sees usually gets rid of up the beanstalk, but three lands, one of those lands being Castle Garenbreak. There's a very real possibility, either I simply draw Sunken, I draw Sylvan Scrying to grab Sunken, or I get Commune, which digs for Sunken. By the point of a hand, plus a few draws, plus a Commune, there's a very real possibility I should be seeing my first Sunken. Well, 
there you go. There you go. Any number of things. A very good chance. Factoring in all of that stuff. So, you know, stay positive. You see the castle. You're in a good position. Absolutely. And they're about to be dead. Close. Close. It's going to be scary stuff. At least they haven't played the, the cat early. That's always scary when they compare that. Ooh, ooh there's a pandro. That's looking pretty decent. But... Now, all of a sudden, I'm making eight. Next turn, for Galta Stampede Tarrant, they are dead. Definitely. 100% dead. Of course, they could play a Damping Sphere, as you are about to see. It slows things down a little bit, but I have enough lands at this point that Kalani's Hatcher should get the job done. And sometimes this has been the case to, against opponents that have brought in that Damping Sphere. I just am slowed down. I keep playing the cheaper creatures. Hopefully it is... A Carnage Tarrant, but at least a Polanis followed up by a Polanis really tends to do the trick. Not a problem, and also quite funny. They stole the Ovenwald Hydra, and it doesn't even have four power. If it did, they would make two food tokens, which isn't going to help them much. They were starved a little bit in the land department. Oh, okay, yeah. It's painful, it's painful, but I just stayed positive, knowing at least I had some plays, and seeing that land eventually, you know, we're going to get six seven hopefully of course i could sprinkle in a little bit of artifact destruction possibly but often enough i still just get the job done i'm not too worried about damping sphere just delayed the inevitable just bashing them bashing them with a bunch of bodies there and it looks okay this was a little bit of a head scratcher i think they assumed that Polanyi's Hatcher was a mana value of four. I, it's not the first time I've seen an opponent do this with Fatal Push. Oops. Yep. They just assume it costs four, and that is not the case. Lovely stuff that it dodges that fantastic removal spell. And lovely having two Polanyi's Hatchers. Playing one, playing another, you get two triggers. You're attacking with a ton of bodies going wide as we are here tends to do the trick man i love it i love it keep up the ruthless aggression as some of you guys know oh boy what what is it going to be oh they're down to one will we get her done certainly having some fun and you're certainly seeing how it can be pretty darn consistent just mulligan you know once or twice you're gonna get a fantastic package of lands that is gonna make it happen or you just believe in you know and you factor in how many chances to see the stuff to see a specific land all right take a bite out of that like button see you next time peace